Hey guys, today we're giving you five tips for freelancers with kids. If we haven't met yet, my name is Tom Wood and this is my wife, Jeanette. On this channel I do tips and tricks and tutorials and sometimes talks like this. So, freelancers with kids, uh, we have five tips for you. Number one uh, is be present. Being present is uh, a great challenge when you're freelancing because you're managing not only uh, your working duties, but you're also marketing yourself, you're uh, approaching new clients, uh, and you're uh, kind of uh, delivering uh, and talking to uh, uh, older clients. You're also doing social media, you're doing uh, maybe a website, uh, and you're keeping up to uh, the latest, uh, latest trends and uh, techniques. And so uh, it's more of like we talked about, it's more of a lifestyle than a job. So when you actually meet the family after a long day, uh, it could be a challenge to be present because you'd rather just sleep. But I, I can imagine uh, you, uh, there's a massive difference in if I'm present and aware or if I'm not. Of course I do notice and it's also it's a good thing to like remind each other. You bring your phone because you always have it with you and you always have like for almost everyone now all your work and emails and everything you do are on your phone so of course it's it's like you want sometimes you want to check notifications and stuff like that but we try to remind each other like okay now it's family time put away the phone and also that our kids can tell us mm. when we actually sit and watch yeah. our phones. we yeah. make deals with our children <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> especially the new newborn yeah 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 do you have told me when you come home and want to be present and together with the kids it's sometimes easier to do something like specific together mm. like you you make a plan kind of for <clears throat> yeah so if i'm if i can keep myself distracted it'll be easier uh, right so and it'd be uh, more fun for the kids as well mm -hmm. so like um, uh, doing legos uh, or uh, i don't know who having the most fun there <laughs> <laughs> oh, doing doing like a, a specific activity uh, is a lot easier than just like hanging out in the sofa and talking about the day because uh then the phone really easily is in yeah, our hands again, it is. our hands. Yeah, of course, it's me as well. There's nothing wrong with checking our phones. It's just like, when do we choose to do that? Is it when we are still eating dinner? Or is it when the kids are asleep, finally asleep, and you can mm. do all the things you want to do on your phone, like emails. Which we which need you, to do, which right? Which we need to do right away, <laughs> always, no. Yeah, because, I yeah. actually read some, some research saying that uh, there's maybe more uh, reason to be worried about uh, the parents uh, in a family spending time on the phone than their children. Yeah, because uh, so we, we're talking about screen time, screen time with yeah. the kids and you know, but they're, they're also like, they're in kindergarten all day, they're playing around and mm. And of course, it's an it's an important thing, but we need to, yeah, we need to take the same lesson to ourselves and like yeah. and stay present. And it doesn't have to be the phone either. It could be like worries, uh, mm. like being a freelancer uh, brings with it a lot of worries and other things. So it doesn't have to be the phone, uh, but distractions that actually uh, d makes you not present for your children uh, is uh, not good. So uh, try to be present. Okay, number two is uh, plan your week in detail. And this is a tricky one, which, uh, and, and I have good weeks and bad weeks with all of these, but uh, especially this one. Planning a week in detail, what does that do? Uh, if you're working from home, for example, well, does it really make a difference? Uh, yeah, it does. Because it uh, if you kind of max out your day with all that you're gonna do, uh, and you also fill in uh, your, your free time, your spare yeah. time, uh, and treat it uh, as uh, as if it's as important mm. as the other tasks that you're going to do that day, uh, then mm. there's a, a bigger chance that you're actually going to follow the, the plan for the day. Mm. Uh, otherwise, it's really easy to fall into the trap of just working. Mm. And I know for myself, like I have like, endless ideas of what I want to do yeah. when I have the time. So uh, the ability to say that my workday actually stops at this this uh, time yeah. is is really helpful and hard <laughs> yeah. to do. And especially like when you have started blocking out like family time or yeah. it, it, it just gets more important when it's in the calendar 
and you get reminders that like just like a meeting or like something else you're going to do that that's that's going to be still as important and not like oh but i got something i need to do then i can just skip that yeah. part because that's just like family time i can do that i can do that <clears throat> like tomorrow or whatever yeah. planning out your week will do two things for you it will help you become more effective during a working day and uh, that will also uh, mean that you have more energy left for when you uh, go home to your family. Uh, so it's a win-win. Tip number three is involve your family. And that could be that could look different for, for every family, but in your case, like something we have been trying out is that you have come coming home from work with new music and we could just play that and we could like say to the kids that, yeah, it's... Daddy made this. Daddy made this. Isn't it, yeah. isn't it great? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's one thing and, and kind of making them aware of what, of what I'm doing at, yeah. at work. Mm. And there's other times like I could bring one of my children with me. Uh, right now mm. I'm working from home, so that's really easy. Mm. Uh, but uh, I've been doing that uh, some, sometimes uh, for sh like shorter periods of time. And he and, loves it. And they love it. Like uh, going into, feel the, so important, like going into the studio, banging on the drums while I try to do some work uh, right there. <laughs> Uh, but I remember uh, Hans Zimmer uh, talking about uh, his children growing up and being able to be around uh, musicians mm. and how valuable that is, even though their father is working like insane hours. <laughs> um, so <clears throat> that kind of brings us into mm. uh, tip number four, actually, <laughs> which I've called uh, uh, being aware of your work ethic. Um, and it's a strange point when it's uh, tips for uh, freelancers with kids, but I strongly believe that uh, what we kind of uh, pass on to our kids is going to be of great importance to them and how they look yeah. at uh, working themselves. So being a freelancer and, and working, uh, I would say, uh, very hard uh, to, to achieve my goals, mm. uh, I believe strongly that that is something uh, that's going to be valuable for my kids to see and to kind of mimic if they want. I think they'll get a, a, a great picture of what hard work looks like and hopefully uh, what uh, comes out of the other end. And we also want them to get like the positive experience around a father being a freelancer and not like the negativity like, yeah, dad's always at work. That's just how it is. He's just going to work, work, work. And he doesn't, he, he, he can't hang out with you that much. That's not going to be like the voice we have or when we talk about mm. you doing freelance. We are a freelance family. <laughs> yeah. Uh, definitely and and that um, makes us not a like a nine-to-five uh, family in a lot of ways which is kind of why we wanted to have these conversations mm. in the first place so that's actually our fifth tip our last tip mm -hmm. uh, uh, which is uh, how how we speak about uh, one of the yeah. one of the parents being a freelancer yeah. and that we want uh, our kids to um, being taught that is a it's a good thing mm. um not not like and that there's not something that's tearing us apart kind yeah of. not not by any means like if it's not healthy it's not healthy no, uh but true. but it's it's different what we talk about when we're the two of us compared to when when we have kids around and that's mm. obviously going to become more important our, as our kids grow older mm. but already we need to uh, be careful about um, what we speak about when uh, with our uh, soon, yeah. soon to be four year old yeah of uh, course so, you have long years so. So, so it's obviously really important how we talk about our relationship and how I talk about my wife to my kids and how my wife talks yeah. about me to the kids when I'm not there yeah of course yeah so that's our five tips for freelancers with kids. These things has helped us out. Uh, try them out for yourself. You're going to be a different family, different uh, parents and different kids. So it might, <laughs> might not work at all. But hey, these things work uh, for us right now. Uh, so uh, we're going to be back next week with another uh, episode. Uh, and until then, remember, there is always gold in everyone.